Right, what is up you guys? Uh, welcome back to yet another Chongqing video. Uh, I mentioned this to everyone, but if you haven't checked them out already, Ai Chongqing, go have a look. Um, anyway, today the Ai Chongqing are taking us to a science and technology park. I'm not in quite sure what that is. Uh, we had a quick look online and it seems it's a place where they have lots of um, new future, future technology innovation type stuff. We're just waiting for a DD, and then I guess we'll find out. It's a little way away, I guess 25 kilometers. So you never know how long that's gonna take in Chongqing because it's because of the windy roads and the nature of the city which goes up up and over the mountains and you know down and around here everywhere. So it could take a little while to get there, but um, I guess we'll meet Ai Chongqing there and we'll see how it goes. Let's do it. Right, okay, we're here at the park. Uh, we just met up with all the guys from Ai Chongqing, and now we've got these two lovely guides which are gonna take us into the park. They just showed us this uh, great, awesome interactive system where you can kind of scroll through it a bit like your iPhone and, you know, just find out all the information about the park. It's built along the side of the Li Jiang River. Li Jiang River, is that right? Yeah. Oh, Jialing River, okay. I just remember the Barrett, he said this is the Yangtze River and this is the other river in China. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, we're gonna go have a look at the park. Okay, so this machine here and this camera here, uh, they record your face and then it will recognize you as you go through the park and it will work out exactly how much energy you've burned, what distance you've been going and all those kind of like health tracking things, a bit like your iPhone or iWatch does, so that's pretty cool. Right, so as we're walking through this park, there's yeah. like uh, mist being emitted from the trees and the grass. It's, it's not actually from the trees and the grass, I guess they've just hidden pipes there, but you know, it's the cool the temperature down there. It's doing actually a sterling job. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about walking through here with camera gear, if I'm honest. Um, camera gear and mist, wet mist, probably aren't the best, but shouldn't be too bad. Uh, if it is, I guess we'll just build Ai Chongqing for that, right? Walking around this place is pretty chill. It's, um, it's, it's nice. You don't get any feeling that you're in the city, really. It's, uh, there's a lot of sounds of cicadas, I guess, and animals, and um, the kind of traffic noise. You can kind of hear it a little bit, but it's pretty, pretty chill, pretty um, nice and calm. I can imagine if the temperature was just, you know, a few million degrees less, it would be pretty awesome just to hang around in here for a whole day. Grass smiles, please you around. These cars we see over here, these like little blue things that look like space machines, uh, pretty much are, I guess. They're apparently self-driving. I don't know if we're gonna get to test that, but um, hopefully. Well, I think one of the Oh, where you take picture? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wanna pick them up for me? Because they're too tall to pick them up. Oh, okay, okay, I got them, I got them. Oh, well, this is weird. Have you ever done that? Yeah. I have the same one in the house. Really? Even yeah. in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, this feels like I feel off balance. This is crazy. Nice. It's all set up. Whoa. <laughs> How do I? <laughs> this is. Isn't that wild? Yeah, I actually feel off balance when I'm uh, when I. Fucking Jesus. Language. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> You're. <laughs> Looking good. Looking good. Yeah. Yeah, you got this. Here yeah. we go. Here we go. VR. You got this. Right, so that VI machine was just pretty nuts. Um, I don't yeah, know if you saw, I, if, I don't know if uh, Xiao captured it on the camera well enough, but I swore a lot, which probably wasn't the best thing when uh, Ai Chongqing want to put this content out on their channel. Um, but that is weird. I still feel kind of dizzy now. Um, it still made me feel like, um, like it actually messes with your brain. <laughs> like, uh, I'm not sure if um, VR is for me. Uh, <laughs> I think, I was just saying these guys, I think if it was, um, I think if it was in my house, I would, I would be falling over and smashing up my front room because, you know, 
it actually messes with my balance. <laughs> it was insane. Although I'm moderately tempted to buy one for my house just for fun. Here is a automatic hockey goalie. I don't know if you can see this, but there's like a little white paddle. And uh, it knows when you're gonna, where the thing, where that hockey puck is gonna go and it will stop it. Um, so maybe we'll see if we can uh, outwit this thing. Okay, so the, like, I would call this like a high class arcade game section. Uh, that was super fun. I mean, you could have a whole bunch of fun in there with like a couple of friends and some beers in an evening. Um, and I guess in some Baijo, yeah, some Baijo. But um, yeah, I guess one wonder where we go next. Shad, do you know where we're going next? Another interesting high technology home next That to is uh, it's very uh, specific. Let's say what. <laughs> 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 so back into the heat and go into the next place which uh, Xiao kindly asked for us and it is something to do with art. So um, I'm guessing this should be quite interesting. I'm guessing it's going to be like some kind of 5G futuristic art but um, we'll see. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's an amazing place, this. I, I didn't think I'd enjoy this as, half as much as I did, uh, as, I, as I am, or as I am. Let's be correctly, grammatically correct. Anyway, uh, let's go see. Get that big one, man. Right, I'm not sure how dark this is, but um, this is kind of cool. It's like a virtual aquarium. Uh, you can touch the animals without being uh, harassed by all those uh, Greenpeace hippies. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get Xiao here to see if uh, she can get eaten by the shark. Um, yeah, let's, let's try. Xiao's gonna take one for the team and get eaten. <laughs> okay, so looks like we're going on the smart self-drive bus now. Matt, do you feel confident? I guess so, as long as you're not the one at the, uh, at the wheel. Go helm. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, computer technology, that's what it's for. Okay, so we're about to go for a ride on the automated car, self-driving car. Um, if you're watching this in the past and it's all gone wrong and we've gone in the river, they've asked us to put seatbelts on, which is kind of unnerving. Um, I thought that it was, is, is it great technology, but uh, yeah, I know, confidence is high. Oh, she's putting us on the road. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. oh sorry, oh, sorry, it was just... Uh... Oh, okay. So in case we steal the bus, right? So far, so good. Um, this robot driver is, uh, is doing all right. It's, um, the guy, to start with, the guy had to use, <laughs> it's like a PlayStation or Xbox controller to drive the little bus to where we were, to like get it to the road that it's used to. I don't know if that means it's, uh, I don't know why that is, but um, yeah, for some reason it needed to be on the road that it's used to driving itself on. So maybe that's not quite like 100% like the same as a, a real person driving, but it's still pretty good. We're, uh, we're going along at quite a tame speed. It's like this, it's kind of like being in the car with my mum um, or my wife. They both drive pretty slowly. Right, so that is pretty much it for the, the for this creative, I was gonna say creative park, technology park. Uh, it's, been, it's been amazing. It's been uh, super fun seeing all the cool things which are potentially gonna be integrated in our, into our lives in the years to come. I think that China does a really good job of being at the forefront of a lot of technology. And yeah, it was a lot of promising stuff. It was kind of, if, if, if we could all have it like they've got it here, like this kind of very utopian, futuristic kind of environment, it, it would be awesome. So thank you to Xiao here. Xiao is, is from Ai Chongqing. Thank you to Mikkel, from, uh, also from Ai Chongqing. He's a brilliant videographer. Thank you to, uh, what are you? Jing here. Jing. Jing and, what's your name? Peng Yuanming. Thank you to these two. These two have been fantastic tour guides. They've uh, really gone above and beyond with their the knowledge. Uh, look at Xiao. Xiao's uh, dropping stuff all over the floor here. And as always, like, share, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.